If you look online for the five stages of grief, the most common breakdown is as follows. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. As I was walking the other day, my mind drifted to future debates with members of the academic community. Like the first few moves on the chessboard, the opening lines of the Flat Earth debate seem to start out the same way. The scientist says, well, as any reasonable, well-educated person will tell you, the Earth is a globe. It's just common knowledge. And I say, of course it is. We've all been told this since we were children. I believed it as well. And really, so did almost everyone in the Flat Earth community. Until one day we didn't. You state that it's a globe. Are you sure? The scientist's first response to this is always the same. Knee-jerk and immediate. The world is not flat. It's a globe. Thousands of other scientists all over the world will agree with me, citing mountains of empirical data using multiple tests that it is 100% spherical. Even considering the archaic idea that the world is flat is nothing short of educational incompetence, bordering on a deliberate anti-intellectual movement that, if went unchecked, would plunge us into darkness and bring about the end of civilization as we know it. And I say, I understand your unwillingness to look at it. As a member of the scientific community, your globe conditioning goes years past the average man on the street who only had to look at the silent globe sitting in their classroom for 12 years plus all the infinite space programming from news and entertainment media that continued all the way until now. Let's just say that you could resist the impulse to look away and examine the evidence. Would you still say it was a globe? Are you sure? And the scientist's tone deepens. It is insulting that you or anyone would even ask such a question. My beliefs aren't based on science fiction, but science fact. Anyone that believes otherwise should be forced into strenuous psychiatric tests, followed by electroshock therapy. And if that doesn't work, the retarded, uneducated, delusional soul should be put down. I don't know why this idea upsets me more than any other fringe concept, but I feel compelled to insult the person introducing the topic to me. Science is right, whether you believe in it or not. And I say, I understand your anger, your frustration. Flat Earth implies that the most important core concept of science, that being the properties of the world itself, are in question. And if that is the case, then every other aspect of science, from all the studies of the ground below us to the mysteries of the sky and beyond, have to be re-examined. No one wants to start over from the ground up, and scientists have been, well, sitting together for a very long time on a high metaphorical perch, never questioning what would happen if the foundations that their institution was built on weren't as solid as they had always thought. But if you could put aside that anger just for a few moments, would you still think it was a globe? Are you sure? And the scientist's eyes grow desperate and strained. Look, he says, I'm not blind to the secrets that men in power keep. I'm not ignorant to the idea of sinister conspiracies in the world. I've known people like you, thinking that nothing can be trusted. Heck, I've had friends who have gone down those roads. Was 9-11 an inside job? Did a lone gunman kill Kennedy? Was Pearl Harbor a setup to win the war? All these things I can look at with reasonable criticisms. I've even looked at the American Moon program being fake. But Flat Earth is so far beyond 
that it defies any sense of credibility. Even entertaining the idea briefly fills me with uncertainty that encroaches on reality itself. The world around us is real, and my place in it is stable and understood. And I say, no one likes being tricked or conned or lied to, especially by people in positions of authority, even if the reason behind it seems acceptable. People in power lie for many reasons, but one of the easiest is this. What you don't know won't hurt you. Is that oversimplifying things? Remember that as of today, no mainstream news outlet has let it slip that Santa Claus isn't real. And they won't, because they're looking out for the children. Rudolph is getting some uh, help guiding Santa and his sleigh this Christmas. NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, is gearing up for its annual Santa tracking mission. This year it has more of a military feel to it. Let's go back to our Pentagon correspondent, Barbara Starr. She's joining us. So, Barbara, what a difference a year makes. What's going on this year? Hey, Wolf, how are you again? Well, you know, about 20 million people... Mainstream science knows at the very least that the Mercator map is extremely inaccurate but they won't replace it because it's easier to keep the status quo. Would science go to extreme lengths to protect the institution that it's built over the last 500 years? Think of how far you would go to protect a single member of your family and then multiply that by, well, forever. Starting to get a clearer picture? The scientist's head is spinning now. The institution of science cannot fall. Millions of hours of research, equation after equation, stacked on top of each other for centuries, all would come crashing down almost overnight. Every scientific sector, every university science department would have to rebuild their models. It would be chaos. Without science leading humanity, there would be no intellectual compass, no guidance. The greatest living minds would become freshmen again. And I say, it's upsetting to be sure, but it's not the end. It could quite possibly be the new beginning that this civilization has always needed. Think of what science could accomplish if it was allowed to break free of the universe laws it created. A prison in which they actually built the bars. Now isn't the time for despair. Instead, look at the world with new eyes and find wonder that you haven't since you were a child, when everything was magic and mystery. Because it is. And after a long and uncomfortable pause, the scientist slumps back into his chair. You know, I've spent the better part of my life researching the different aspects of this world and others, relying on a seamlessly endless supply of qualified journals and articles, all reinforcing each other. That the heliocentric model was the best fit, that it literally expanded our concepts and perceptions of not only the physical universe, but time, matter, and maybe even the building blocks of creation. If we have to go back to the previous model, maybe the modern tools we have now will allow us to rediscover things with a new perspective. But what does that do to all the work I've accomplished over the years? What place do I have in it? What am I now? And I said, you're free. The old rules don't apply anymore. You now have a choice to make. You can forget that this conversation ever happened and continue building meaningless theories on top of a foundation made of smoke. Or you can join a community that questions everything and has a chance to build a world based on potential, not fear. Now, one last time, look at that globe. Is that where you are right now?
all part of the intel brief for this test mission that they just posted on the internet you know it's all supposed to be in good holiday cheer so children around the world can track santa but the question this year again is did it go just a little bit too far because as some people are saying the u.s military doesn't own santa the world owns santa and why is it the u.s military that seems to be taking possession of all of this it's a program that's existed for years it's worked really well 20 million around the world log on to this website the question this year just is did it go a little too far well yeah well some people are obviously sensitive to that any plans uh, for drone uh, use by santa this year does the pentagon have any expertise in helping santa perhaps use some drones to deliver some of those gifts to the kids well we didn't see any drone delivery and of course the next thing we're watching for is will santa enter chinese airspace well yeah well they'll have to declare it to the chinese presumably all right Thanks very much. Uh, having a little fun over there, Barbara.